One of the places destroyed in this was the Spanish Christian Church. And on the phone with us is Carmen Vargas Rosa, who was an integral part of that community. Carmen, tell us uh, what you know now. Well, uh, we fear for at least four of our tenants that may have been in the building at the time. And we can't reach on their cell. So we're really trying to see what's happening. So four tenants who lived above the church how are yeah, unaccounted for? Tenants. Some are accounted for. Four of them are not. Four not um, accounted for. Carmen, I, uh, I, you, know, you don't know where to begin here. We had heard reports that there was a potential gas issue at the building a few months back. Is there any, any truth to that? Well, there had been uh, a gas leak. I called Con Edison. They came. They found the leak. We put in a new pipe and everything. Uh, we had no more odors. Um, last night at the corner of, at the northwest corner, uh, no, yeah, the northwest corner, there was an odor, and I went into the, the store there at the corner to let him know in case it was from his building, and uh, he said he would look into it, and then we went home. So you did smell gas in the area last night? Last night, yeah. We had prayer night, and when we came out of church, uh, at the corner, outside in the street, there was a smell of gas. It would come and go, so I thought it was from the... The corner store there, there's a deli, and um, so I went to the owners and told them, and he said they would look into it, and then we went home no, for many well, years. Well, Carmen, we, we thank you for uh, for talking with us. We know this is extremely emotional for you, and um, okay, our thoughts are our so thoughts much. are with you. And, and should you hear from from any of uh, any of your tenants, please um, please call us back to let us know okay, so we know that everyone's safe. Thank you so much. We appreciate. Bye -bye. It. We wish mm -hmm. you the best.